Hi, friends. This is Joe Chadburn, the Ambassador Network Director here at World Missionary Press. We're back with Yuri Onitsky, part eight of this wonderful series. Welcome, Yuri. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Uh, yes, today, we're going to talk about, um, about the smaller events, community events, more closed in events, uh, places where you're also using tables and setting up displays and things like that. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that and your experience with that. Okay. Um, we were sharing, um, I will, uh, yeah, we will share with you about events where you can set up your table, when you can represent church or represent uh, organization and share the gospel inside an event. Before all the series, if you're interested, you can watch back. Uh, we will have a, a, a link on the bottom or on the side uh, where you can watch other series, how you can use on events, public events, in uh, um, other uh, places. Uh, and we will also, in the future, we will uh, also you, uh, show, uh, share with you how you can use in the cars, in uh, uh, restaurants, uh, hotels, beaches, prison, uh, schools, mm -hmm. church. We will share this later on. But today, uh, we're thinking that very important to you to equip with some tools how you can set up a uh, booth inside the festival and participate inside the festival mm -hmm. uh, so that way you will be legally, officially representing, uh, and you have a, your team inside the festival, because some festivals, they not allowing uh, to, because this is their territory, they not allowing to you to stay in and giving book, because you staying on their territory, and once they say you cannot, there is another way where you can legally continue to preach the gospel, and how to do it to be inside the festival with legal permission and participation. This is, but we will tell you this uh, later on. Now we're gonna share with you a few other places, how you just mentioned, uh, festivals, parades, uh, where you can continue using uh, this literature uh, free, which hold any, uh, and legal, which hold any, uh, Troubles. Okay, uh, the first one, uh, as we mentioned before, uh, you can um, use on parades. Mm -hmm. Parades is something very, very uh, people likes. Mm -hmm. uh, back in U ex Union Sovietic, where I came from, uh, ex Union Sovietic from country Ukraine, we have a, a May nine uh, Independence Parade. Mm -hmm. Where uh, ex Union Soviet Russia, Ukraine, and other countries, they even today they still using to prove to show the power, military power, mm -hmm. with, in a lot of people. Uh, thankfully, in the United States, we don't need to show our power. Yeah. We we know that we are powerful. Mm -hmm. But uh, on those parades, what we have here in the United States, uh, they are peaceful parades where uh, they. Uh, uh, share um, exhibition of cars or uh, fall festival parades or um, like you mentioned Patrick parade uh, if you live in Brazil there is huge parade uh, mm -hmm. also, and, and there are all kind of different parades they have everywhere sure you can you can also remember every person who don't know Christ is missionary field Mm -hmm. And you, the one who can share the gospel with them. There is many ways to do it, uh, not only through church pulpit, you also can share the gospel where it's needed most, it's streets. They need Jesus. They need to know God. And we will uh, also share with you where uh, that there is one company, uh, not company, ministry, that they are serving and supporting those missionaries who 
willing to go on the street, who have the desire to share gospel, and they support him with very special literature booklets, printed Bible based. There is no many interpretations. This is what mm -hmm. I love it the most. As I was searching many booklets and I saw from all of them there is person explaining gospel. Mm -hmm. And uh, as an evangelist, I understand that people, once they're Christian or they know about Christianity a little bit, they may read this. But mm -hmm. since they are not Christian, they will be picky to read somebody's mind. Mm -hmm. So they need to have uh, some authority leader supporting documented. Mm -hmm which is Bible, and it's very authority book, which is trustful, it's recognizable all over the world, and they, everyone, it doesn't matter religion, they know that there is Bible. Mm -hmm. and they know that this is very uh, genuine source, and those booklets, they print based on the Bible only. So this mm -hmm. is very important for you guys. So. What we do in parades and festivals like this, uh, usually uh, it's also very important. Uh, uh, as you mentioned, as we mentioned in previous videos, uh, our people gathering before parade starts, they, 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 they go and sit, uh, or you can mention, you can explain better. And they'll sit down and get ready for the parade because there's so many parades have a lot of noise and marching bands and, and things like that. A lot of fanfare, so you're not going to really be, be able to communicate. And people want to watch the parade. They have family in the parade a lot of times or a high school band or they want to watch the parade, not you. <laughs> or at least me, they don't want to watch. Uh, those, so, people, yeah. those people coming earlier time, They'll line up hours beforehand to get a good seat, yes. Yeah, and for us, as um, for me personally, it's my opinion, it's my experience. Uh, we uh, know the better moment for them to share the gospel and they read it that, mm -hmm. or they pay attention what they receive, it's uh, booklets uh, when they're given before parade starts. Mm -hmm. For at the end of the parades, people start rushing, people start coming go, and they they thinking where is their car, where is their belongings, kids. Mm -hmm. So they not focus to get anything on their hands. They focus. Uh, they have a different focus. So yes. it's very important. Don't 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 use a phrase. Okay, I'm gonna do it after parade. It's, you can do it, but it's not that effective. Most effective when you do it before, and this is how we done on most parades. We do this way. Uh, if I have enough people to cover the area, entrance areas, uh, streets, or anything like this, uh, then uh, we stay on the entrance streets where people start getting from. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's limited, uh, this uh, strategy I use it uh, many times. And it's work and really, uh, uh, really uh, effective. Mm -hmm. Before we know what time start parade. Let's say ten o'clock in the morning. So ten minutes up before ten. When is everybody line up? Because those people they already start preparing to get ready. Mm -hmm. And I know that we don't have it people surrounding where we can serve. Let's say we are six or eight persons. Unbelievable evangelism, they are, we are 200, 300 people. Mm -hmm. most, most likely uh, we are small groups and mm -hmm. we small groups. Uh, so um, uh, what we do and uh, we use very strong helpers, it's kids. You can use your, your kids too if you have or teenagers. Uh, uh, they love it, this. Uh, they, they may, may I ask a question? When you go with groups, do you stay two by two or make sure that you're in close proximity? Uh, the best way uh, is to go two by two. Mm -hmm. It's nothing new, it's Jesus model. Mm -hmm. uh, he sent it by two. Why? Uh, first thing, 
for me, I can go one, but uh, for uh, new beginners, I recommend go by two. First mm -hmm. of all, uh, emotionally and psychologically, you feeling that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. uh, secondary, if you have somebody approach to you and you're handling books and it's emergency questions, person, let's say, that or life, we have uh, this kind of situation. Mm -hmm. You probably want to quit the life and the approach. Mm -hmm. Uh, to my daughter, uh, one and uh, one uh, occasion, and my daughter listened and called my wife because it was female. So my wife talking, then she called me, and I was very uh, mm -hmm. close distance. Sure, I engaged the conversation. So on that situation, I'm not able to share any more gospel, but I can talk to that person what's really matter. Or for example, if somebody start asking about Jesus Christ, if you want and you don't have nobody there, you have to stop everything. But if yeah. you are two, one can start talking, other continue. So Being able to talk, that's sharing the gospel in a, in a really powerful way and ministering and yeah, praying to someone with time. someone. That's, yeah, that's, that's phenomenal. And also the second person that's there, even if they didn't know what to say, they can be praying for you as you're ministering. So yeah, very, very, very powerful and important. I just wanted to kind of... Uh, yeah. Also, there. also, if there is available, I suggest also based on my experience, I suggest always uh, also use female male, mm -hmm. like wife with husband. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you never know who approach. It can yeah. approach role uh, or female. Mm -hmm. I can talk, but uh, here in the United States, you need to be more uh, aware what. Mm -hmm. who you're talking and uh, so to not bring any temptation or any conflict dramas so to avoid that i have my wife if this any female girl come over i give my wife and they also have a, a same mindset <laughs> so they talk yes. in the same and, language so, and there uh, and you know there are certain situations too with domestic abuse where women may have encountered just brutal men in their life and they're actually afraid of men, and it's really only a woman that's going to be, be able to touch and They can touch open up, yeah. Pretty much, absolutely, and that's, that's just one scenario. So yes, I, I believe that's wisdom, absolutely. Um, so once, once it's, uh, we hear, we know that what time is starting event, what we do, uh, we start from starting point, we starting goal, toward the line where is people have a line we go on both sides we go and give the booklets mm -hmm. those people they psychologically they thinking that we are representing festival authority mm -hmm. and i can say almost 100 percent they take in those books because they think it maybe it's some plan how it's gonna, who is gonna go, yeah. you know, the, uh, what's the name, Pro program they call it? Yeah, some sort of a program, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. they think thinking that some of them, they're asking us, oh, is this is program or you, um, or you uh, patronage or something like this. Mm -hmm. So those people take it. Or uh, many of them, since uh, most uh, festival uh, like parades, they give in something valuable, candies or anything. Mm -hmm. They think in something free, free coupons, free uh, mm -hmm. something free, and they take it. And yeah. it's uh, yeah. and it's big opportunity for us because they. I go and uh, this can be two, three rows people, and they see that I come in. They they just sneaking in. Mm -hmm. Just give it to me one, one, one for me, one for me, or oh, maybe yes. two. <laughs> So I see where the, the small children's coloring books we're doing would be very good for that. We pass a lot of those out uh, at the fair, but you, you ask people, can I give your, you know, your children a, a coloring book? And the kids always, you know, want a coloring book. Uh, so that's, yeah. yeah. We, use, we use coloring book mostly in parks mm -hmm. um, because they are bigger size now. Thank, thanks uh, to World Missionary Press, um, where we, uh, we get supported from. And you can get supported also. They print in uh, 248 languages, uh, booklets, uh, coloring books, uh, and they can ship you free of charge. If yeah, you we have three, 348 different languages, but oh, you may not know. 
we have, because we're printing them in house, the coloring books are smaller, but we can get more of them out now because we're printing them in house, but they're the same size as like the Bible studies, like the gospel of John. Yeah. This so is what I just want to mention. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you can hand those out a lot easier and carry them instead of these, you know, huge books at parades or, or whatever. So that, that is a, uh, that's a, yeah. an upside to it. Correct. On this year's, yes, uh, World Missionary Press, they, they, they start uh, releasing, uh, this is what I want to mention, they start releasing uh, coloring books, smaller size, where you can take to the festivals and, uh, and uh, give to kids. And this is what really they like. It. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and believe they start reading immediately. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is what I like uh, seeing kids. They start reading, candy starts spreading, and they continue reading. <laughs> yes. I love to observe them. Yes. Um, and so well, this is how, uh, how we give, and uh, you can do the same way. Uh, you can uh, pre-order from uh, World Missionary Press. The website is wmpress.org. Yes, uh, and uh, you select where you want it. Uh, they also have an electronic way. If you want to share social medias, uh, you can do it. Uh, they have a uh, via text, and uh, they also have audio booklets uh, where you can, if uh, you want to serve to somebody bl blind, uh, with disability or elders, they also think about those people too. They're not left behind them. Or truck drivers or anybody yes. who 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 not able to sit down and read. So for them, they also prepare that and they have on that website. You can uh, copy link and share with them too. You know, there's some, uh, on that note too, and I found this from different events uh, that I've done and just interaction with people. That if you do send them a link or you ever exchange information by text, that means that that person trusts you with their phone number. Okay, and you can always ask permission after you've read it. I might give you a text and see how you're doing, or if you have any questions, you have my number. You can text me, and I may just follow up with you, see how you're doing. I'm gonna be praying with you, and that uh, you know you have each other's information. Uh, something else that I'll do a lot of times is um, I'll just give them my phone, and I'll say, uh, if you if you like, you're on Facebook. Or would you like to be friends? Here, send yourself a friend request on my phone. And so they'll type their name in a lot of times because I don't, you know, <laughs> with pronunciation oh, or whatever. And if it's a younger whatever. person, they're, they're a lot quicker. But then all of a sudden, your Facebook friends, you know, or whatever, you're able to, we're able to connect in so many ways right now that uh, you can have that contact. Even in a short engagement, something wonderful can develop out of that. And you can continue ministering to that person, whether it's through social media or whether it's through, you know, texting calls. However, you, you know, you, you, you don't want to really intrude and impose on people, but if you, but if you let them know, hey, you know, and, and you, you set up some boundaries and just let them know that, you, you, you know, you'd love to be in contact with them, I think that's very meaningful, you know, as far as the follow-up aspect of it that you don't get with the paper, you know, with, which, is, which is great. But something else that we had mentioned, Tell us about the uh, the stamp that you use so that people can, you know, can get, talk about the stamp. This is, this is great point that you uh, touch that. Uh, usually when we go um, to different events, uh, we like to, like you just mentioned, uh, discipleship, it's same as important as sharing the gospel. Because once person, receive Jesus Christ, they just born, and just born baby, they need care. Or they may not have received him and they have questions. What is this book, or what does this mean, what's this questions. talking about? You know, I need help, yeah. And uh, those people, I have many requests personally, who I give the booklet and they say, where is your church located? I want to be in your church. I want to know more about God. If you have a time, or if they have, you, you, once you do this, you are disposed to be, have a time. But uh, if they not have a time, there is one way to serve those people. Uh, what we design, uh, I don't have it right now with me, but uh, we take, uh, I have a booklet. There you go. For example, this is a booklet. 
On the back, there is empty space. And the World Missionary Press specially designed this way. So you have an empty space where you can make a stamp for your church mm -hmm. and stamp it. So mm -hmm. once you give the booklet, there is on the back, as soon as they want to know where to go, how to go, uh, if they want to have more questions or anything like this, they can have a contact information where they can reach and start growing up better. Uh, this is another uh, opportunity. Or if you do um, same thing, we apply this when we go missionaries. Mm -hmm. When we send missionaries, um, uh, Archer sending missionaries in Mexico, uh, where they take uh, other missionaries, we go Africa and actually in Soviet India, but uh, on Mexico, when they go, they do same thing. They invite uh, they invite people to crusade, mm -hmm. and guess what? They print the church name or mm -hmm. crusade direction. They this is more effective because if you print invitation, it's just piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Person gonna look. Oh, it's on Sunday. Oh, I cannot go on Sunday. They throw away. But this. It's Bible-based booklet. It's have mm -hmm. Bible verses. I can show it. Uh, yeah. If they not assist crusade, they still have God's word in their hands. Mm -hmm. And we don't know which kind of uh, situation will happen in uh, people's lives, which circumstances will happen, or which condition they will pass. And once they need it, they will look it, and they're going to read it. And this is very, very efficient because uh, this is not one one time use. And for mm -hmm. those, um, another tip, those who receive, I have uh, some time when we give on festivals, parades, I give a booklet and some Christians, I don't know, maybe as our society like this brother, but some Christians, they say, oh, I'm Christian, I don't need it. Mm -hmm. I catch myself few times this way mm -hmm. and I say give to somebody who don't know <gasps> oh give me five or six mm -hmm. sometimes people thinking that this book is designed only for you mm -hmm. but if you already know God and you can mention that once you distribute the, the when you're sharing the gospel you can say hey if you are already Christian, give to somebody else. This is what I use the phrase. Oh, and they open their minds. They, oh, yeah, give me more. As they, they see, they forget uh, that these booklets, it's not only for Christians, it's uh, non Christians, but also for those who follow the Jesus Christ and for Christians, because Christians also need answers when they need it. And sometimes, uh, if if you if they are Christians that read Bible once a year, mm -hmm. or once a month, they may need a reminder. It's a so. good encouragement. Yeah. So I want to ask you, and and um, like when you're at this this Chinese Lantern Festival there, that's I believe in Duluth, and we've got some pictures of that on the Ambassador website on the uh, on the blogs. Um, you're setting up a table. Are there any tips that you have for when you're at the table and people, um, people are, because people are just walking by a lot of times and they're looking real quickly at things. And, and so uh, talk a little bit about the dynamic of that. When you're at a festival like that, you have a table or a booth set up. And, and let's talk a little bit about that. Okay, yeah. How will we promise? Uh, later on, we, we promise you that we're going to tell you about the Lighting Festival Chinese. It was happening for 30 days. 30 days? For 30 days, correct. Wow. Uh, yes. Chinese, they like long. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it was for 30 days and they exhibit. And, um, but uh, the most uh, in it was in December, January. So it was very cold. Mm -hmm. For uh, us, uh, going uh, from six, five, six o'clock evening to eleven o'clock night, first of all, it's cold. 
is freezing and it's dark. People not really like to take somebody's from somebody's hands during evening time mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. They don't know what you're offering. So for that reason, uh, I saw opportunity and say, okay, uh, first of all, it will be called for us, and secondary, uh, people safety. So we need to be inside to continue to share the gospel. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 one of uh, my friends from our church, they know uh, the director uh, who, who organized that. She was Christian mm -hmm. Chinese. Uh, she is a real estate uh, businesswoman. Uh, and she was doing on her own money and uh, mm. the way how she have uh, opened it so she put uh, Chinese uh, lights and also mm -hmm. she put exhibition of uh, Jesus Christ born and they put music uh, of the Christian music so this wow. is the way how she have an idea to preach the gospel now, well, so this is indoors with, with a table and, and a, a, lit, a yeah, lit setting. Yeah, they, they enclose the festival. So you okay. have to buy a ticket to get in. But mm -hmm. uh, the way how she, uh, she this is business, but uh, uh, mm -hmm. here was that festival and they have a booth and we approach to, to her. And uh, this is how it's work. To be inside, you have to uh, first uh, uh, ask permission of the uh, uh, organizer. Mm -hmm. So uh, you need to come over and ask uh, their permission. They glad to, because the more boots they have, the more uh, like uh, popular this, mm -hmm. they, they like, they call vendors. They like to have uh, vendors in their boots. Sometimes uh, it's, it's cost involved. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be free. Uh, mm -hmm. You need to ask uh, for to do this. Uh, first, you need to uh, ask. Second, uh, what most places like this, they ask uh, uh, insurance for mm -hmm. your boot. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy it at your own pocket. Uh, it's not uh, cheap because you need to have a very expensive coverage. But if uh, you live in the United States and you belong to some church, our churches have uh, business insurance. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I did, I asked my pastor in our church to give me extension of this business insurance for one more month, for one month mm -hmm. on my territory in case if there is accident happen in my boot. Uh, they don't want to be liable. They have their own insurance, but mm -hmm. they say we cover our territory but in case if somebody entered in your boot and something happened, you are liable. So mm -hmm. to avoid expenses, you can ask your church to provide you insurance policy, uh, a church insurance policy, which is mm -hmm. $10 million coverage, and the vendors like this because uh, mm -hmm. all the questions just run away. They see yeah. the paper, you have paper, it's good to go. Um, uh, they assign you a table, and uh, if uh, this is what we do, uh, I was thinking many, many different, different uh, name because the name what's matter. Mm -hmm. uh, boot it's something that not you going toward people. It's where all people coming to you. Mm -hmm. So uh, in that case, you need to put some name, something that gonna bring people to you yes mm -hmm. so we name it uh we uh, prayer so prayer is something if if you put christian or jesus or anything mm -hmm. uh, remember it's only will christians come over to you mm -hmm. and it's ineffective uh, mm -hmm. because the purpose of evangelism is to give good news to people who don't follow Jesus mm -hmm. or have a the loose relationship mm -hmm. with God, you know. So our decision, prayer, 
every every religion they use prayer. Yes, yes. So I uh, we get to the conclusion we're gonna put we pray for you. So mm -hmm. uh, that approach many people. And another thing, what's American flower? We put big sign free, free prayer. Yeah. No, no, we not put uh, prayer. <laughs> we put just sign free. Just free. Okay. It's uh, <laughs> you need to see how people <laughs> once they walk in the, in the, in the, in the vendor area and they see something free. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you give free. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are running. They like this mm -hmm. one. I don't know. So it's a separate sign that says free right near your prayer booth is, is what it is. Yeah. No, the prayer booth we put on the top and the bottom we put uh, we put table, we put yes. booklets and we put free. Exactly, uh, exactly. I just wanted to clarify that for anyone who was Yeah, yeah. that's good that you asked. Uh, because booklets what we give even in the vendor place, we give free of charge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um it's very important because uh, if person will, if you, first of all, the booklet stated that uh, it's free, uh, giving free, okay? And mm -hmm. secondary, people like more, they, they, they approach more responsibly and they're willing to read this when they, there is no cost involved or they don't have nothing to lose, okay? So mm -hmm. this, is, this is where, where they they bring attention and they approach and they say oh what is it oh booklets oh it's about God yeah, okay so we set up a few tables and we put those tables and I put uh, I don't know twenty or thirty languages the most common Arabic Chinese traditional Taiwanese uh, Vietnamese and all kind of languages so and uh, and you're in Gwinnett County where there's all different nationalities it's wonderful yeah. Yeah, and since they, they name it Chinese uh, Lighting Festival, uh, most Asians, they come over there and they be enabled, uh, usually by their culture, I spoke with a few of them, uh, they not l teach to get something from somebody's hands. Mm -hmm. This is the cultural thing. But on that festival, uh, during those 30 days, we be enabled to give like five, 6,000 booklets. Uh, mm -hmm. different languages and Wonderful. thanks to, to world missionary press that they supply all kind of languages for us and uh, we have also uh, coloring books for kids mm -hmm. kids also they they want it they yes. oh can i take for my sister too uh, oh, i have my brother in the home so the mm -hmm. kids also like it and since uh, kids what i see kids when they walk looks like they not have it two eyes. Looks like they have it, they have it 24 eyes. <laughs> so they, they walk, uh, even person, we saw a person passing through the booth mm -hmm. and he mom, 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 there is something for me, it's free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they turn in and the kid grabbed the book and mom or dad start looking what we have and they grab one book, how to know God or mm -hmm. help from a mom and praise the Lord. So this is very, very important. If you have uh, something for kids, kids, it's a it's magnet. <laughs> they, they, they're steering uh, parents to, to get because they like to have their stuff. Yes. Um, uh, second thing, uh, uh, what also we did on that festival, uh, we get approval and you can do it the same thing. Uh, not only boot assistant, where you stay in the boot because um, I saw, uh, since it was cold, they come to see the lights and they not much go inside. Uh, like, it was surrounding area and in that surrounding area, there is, was like food court. It's different, um, like cup, you know? Mm -hmm. And they not walking much inside. And mm -hmm. my purpose since we there, I, I saw that will be best and more effective because I'm losing maybe 80% of people who is walking in the, inside the, the exhibition. Mm -hmm. So I approached to the, to the owner and I asked if we can handle the books mm -hmm. inside their territory, explain mm -hmm. it. I always need to ask, remember, this is very important too. Mm -hmm. I always ask, 
And uh, I asked her, and she said, yes, yeah, sure, I'd be glad. Only you need to print your tag with your name and uh, that you represent uh, that you are vendor, mm -hmm. which she is giving us uh, anyway. So mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what I just put the tag over so people even with more responsibility, they was thinking that I am employee of the event. Mm -hmm. And once I approach to them, <laughs> they give them a book and they say, oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, yeah. it was... It was uh, very successful. People start taking those uh, booklets. Excellent. And uh, reading. So those uh, those tips, you can also, uh, there is events which exhibition or circus or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want to be inside, there is possibility, but there is some rules need to be applied. But in case, on our case, that since it was nighttime, uh, winter, 6 o'clock, was already dark. So mm -hmm. for safety issue and for not freezing outside, mm -hmm. uh, you can apply that too. To avoid that situation, as you can watch later uh, before videos, we share with you how you can do it in legal ways. Uh, just click it, uh, order series uh, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. and you can watch how to do it, evangelize on... Uh, on yeah. places where it's public places and which rules you can use it. Yes, and you can find all of these on the on our newsletter. It links you straight to YouTube, but you can find all of these videos there at wmpambassadors.org and just go to the presentation videos and you'll be able to, to watch uh, this entire series there. So that's, that's great. Uh, I really look, I've, I've enjoyed this so much, Yuri, and look forward to uh, either one day later this week or next week in the very near future, uh, getting together again and going over these. Thank the Lord for uh, this time together. Uh, do you have anything to share with our viewers and listeners before we close? Yeah. Um, if you know anyone who want to be a evangelist or if you are an evangelist, Share this video with your friends using social media, uh, YouTube, or other places. Uh, so those tools will be available. And uh, also, uh, I encourage you to visit the website uh, wmpress.org. Uh, look it over uh, what tools you can use. It. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or questions, you also can question on the bottom uh, if this video will be on the social media you can comment in on social media or YouTube um, what else and um, remember everything the, the ministry start not when you entitle minister minister start when you start ministry mm -hmm. when you start serve praise the Lord and if you don't know much to say, get those booklets. This will be a very easy step for you. Just give and say, this is for you. Yeah. Even kids can do yes. So this is my, my, my message to you. And may God bless you, protect you, wherever you are, uh, whatever country you are. Um, and maybe may God use your wisdom, uh, your thoughts, uh, your what you're gonna pronounce to those people, so you speak directly to their hearts if you have opportunity. So may God bless you, be with you, and we share everything what we can with you. Um, be blessed. Amen. Thanks again, Yuri, and to all of our viewers and listeners. We love you so much. Have a wonderful week. God bless you. God bless you.